This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eSkillsZone.com. Hello and welcome, hi viewers. Today in this video, we'll discuss user-defined functions, and today we'll discuss program how to calculate your circle by using a user-defined function in GW Basic Programming language. So, the program is first we will write down the program over here, and then we will execute it on the ID on line 10 we will type CLS on line 20 we will type PI a variable and we'll assign the value of pi 3.1415 line 30 we will type def as used as keyword used to define the function fn is used for the function and x is passed as an argument equal to PI to x raised to the power 2 here we will use r because this <coughs> r is used as a radius and pi r square is the formula which is actually used to calculate the area of circle pi into r into square this is a caret symbol which is used to calculate the exponent exponent so it will calculate the exponent of radius r raised to the power 2 line 40 we will type input radius like this equal to double quotes close comma rd it's a variable name line number 50 now we will type print area of circle is double quotes close semicolon fnr fn is the name of the function and then we will put red as a variable On line 60, we will type E and E N, and when we run this program, then the answer is will be like that. Radius equal to 2, and the answer is area of circle is 12.5. Six six nine seven. So let's switch to the IDE where we will execute this program and see that if we give the value of radius two, then the area calculated of the circle is will be twelve point five five six six nine seven or not. So viewers on line ten, we will type CLS to clear the contents of the screen. Line number twenty, we will type def. We will type PI equal to three point one four one five line number 30 we will type def fn r argument x and close in parenthesis by into r into x raised to the power 2 line number 40 we will type input radius double quotes close comma already read line number 50 we will type print area of circle is 
Double quotes, close, close, semicolon, F and R, red. Line number 60, E and E and. Now we will execute this program by running the F2 key. So it asks us to give the value of radius. So we will give 2. And the area vertical is 12.566. This is how the program is executed. So I'm going to explain the execution of the pro of this program line by line to you guys for your better understanding and knowledge. So let's switch to the text area. Okay, now I'm going to explain this program over here on line 10. CLS trend is used to clear the contents of the screen on line 20 3.1415 is assigned and then stored to the left hand side numeric variable named pi now pi contains the value 3.1415 by using the assignment operator equal to symbol on line 30 expression pi into x raised to the power this is a carrot symbol which is used to calculate the exponent of any value so this expression on line 30 expression pi into x raised to the power 2 raised to the power 2 is assigned and then stored to the function named def fnr x by using the assignment operator equal to symbol on line 40 input statement is used to take input from the user the message radius will be displayed as it is after running the program whereas comma is used for a space and rad is the name of the variable is the name of the numeric variable which will take the input from the user right after the execution of this program right on line 50 print statement is used to first display the message area of circle is on the screen and semicolon is used for spacing and function which now contains the calculation calculated area of circle will and the name of the function in the function f n r rad which now contains the calculated area of circle will 
be displayed on the screen. Point to be noted is while defining the name of function we have used the argument fnrx but at the same time we have used the argument x and while displaying the output of the calculated area of circle we replaced the argument x with rat which which actually contains the value of radius given by the user after executing the program using input statement so viewers actually the point which we i'm gonna discuss with you guys is that this x is now replaced with this rad already rad because the argument is always enclosed in the parenthesis that used with the name of the function name of the function fnr fnr is again same fnr is repeated over here but here you can see that the argument first uh, displayed with the name x but here the x is replaced with rad which now contains the value of radius given by the user after the execution of program using the input statement so this is how this program is executed i'm gonna highlight some of the major components of this program like the value of pi and the name of the pi is the name of numeric variable so numeric variable always contains the value of numeric constant like this and this is the expression you can call it a formula or an expression this is the first name of the function def is used for defining the function it's a keyword so the interpretation is always given and it's always necessary to understand this because if the interpretation is not there then one cannot easily understand the execution of the program and the purpose of the program this is how why each and every statement each and every formula each and every command and each and every definition what is the use of this equal to symbol this assignment operator this is an expression this keyword is used to define a function fnr the name of the function x is the argument but here this x is replaced with already rad rad is the name of the variable before which the user will give the input after the execution of the program and this area of circle is the message enclosed in the double quotes close and this input or radius which whatever is enclosed in, in double quotes used with input and print student is always displayed on the screen right after the execution of the program so this is very very important like over here i'm going to highlight this one if an r red likewise very points so you have discuss each and every point clearly over here I'm gonna explain that right after the running program user has given value 2 as radius and now 
the function calculated the value of area of circle that is 12.563 each time every time whenever user give a different value a different value can be obtained as an area of circle because the calculation will be changed according to the value given for the radius here the user has given the value of 2 so the area of circle calculated by the function f and r rad is 12.566 so that's all viewers in our next program we will discuss more programs of user defined functions that's all thanks for watching <laughs>